good morning welcome back i know i was gone for a while but i'm back i'm gonna keep making these videos all right today as promised we're going to talk about flexibility in our hips all right the hips are really important part of your body it connects your legs and your upper body so it's very important that they are strong and healthy if you want to play any kind of sports if you want to do any kind of running uh also uh, they tend to get really tight and kind of painful when we spend a lot, a lot of time sitting. And I don't know about you, but I have been spending some time sitting during this quarantine because we're mostly inside. There's not too, not too many places to go. So I'm going to show you one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight different stretches that you can do to help keep your hips nice and flexible, nice and loose. Uh, if you're, if you're ever getting pain in your lower back or pain in your you know, your legs or your hips, you can try these exercises and they can help you to just feel better. You'll be able to walk more easily, to run more easily, just move more freely. And you can show some of these to some of the adults uh, in your life if you want to as well. Although I think it will be much harder for them than it will be for you. Uh, a lot of adults in particular, because we spent so much time sitting and you know our bodies are done growing, so they're not as flexible. They, we can't move them as well. Uh, so these exercises might be very important for the adults in your life as well. All right, but we're gonna before we get into the stretches, we're gonna warm up. We're gonna warm up. We'll do 30 jumping jacks, and we're gonna do 10 body weight squats just to get all of our muscles kind of warm because it's you know our muscles stretch better when they're warm than when they're you know, all kind of cold. So we'll start off 30 jumping jacks and 10 body weight squats. All right, all right ready and 30 jumping jacks. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. All right. 10 body weight squats. You can do these with kind of a little bit of a wide stance. Since we are working our hips, that will help get your hips flexible. All right, and try to go down super low. All right, ready. And down, one. Down, remember, pause, pause at the bottom so you don't hurt your knees. And two. Down and three, down and four, down and five, down and six, down and seven, down and eight, down and nine, down and ten. All right, so we're all warmed up. We're going to start. Our first stretch is just going to be a deep squat. So you can start with your feet, maybe a little bit more than shoulder width apart, not super wide, but not close together. And you're just gonna slowly go all the way down, put your elbows in between your knees and make like prayer hands. And you can kind of push your knees apart and see if you can just stand here. We're just gonna stay here for a little while. Um, I've also seen this um, called the yogi squat. Um, called the Asian squat. Apparently in many parts of Asia, people commonly rest in this position. Whereas in America, we usually sit in chairs or we sit, you know, cross leg, crisscross applesauce, or we sit on a couch or whatever. Um, apparently, so I've read, people in parts of Asia will rest in this position. And it's, this position is really good for you. It helps to stretch out your lower back. Like if you look from the side, Okay, my lower back is getting a nice stretch. My hips are getting stretched. This is a very natural position for people to be in. But the problem is when we spend a long time sitting in chairs or sitting on the couch or whatever, you know, whatever the case may be, all right, um, we start to lose the flexibility. So this is a good test. If you can do this and this is comfortable, that's good. That means you have good flexibility. If this is very difficult for you, I would strongly encourage you to, to spend more time doing some stretches. Maybe do some of these stretches that we're going to do today. You know, even if you're watching TV, 
You can sit on the couch for a little bit. Maybe during the commercial, you can do this stretch. Or maybe you can do this you know, for a couple minutes and then sit on the couch again and go back and forth. But if you can't stay in this position, that's a, a wake up call that you might need to work on your hip flexibility. All right, so we spent a lot of time here. So we'll move on to the next stretch. And now is the low lunge. So now we're gonna work the flexibility in the front of our hips, in our hip flexors, okay? So we've done this one before, but you're gonna keep your knee on the ground. You're gonna step your foot forward. And you're gonna push your body forward like this, all right? Push your hips forward so you feel a stretch right here. And then put your arms up and lean back slightly. Okay, deep breaths. One more. All right, and now we'll switch sides, switch legs. So put your other knee on the ground, step forward with your other foot, all right, and push your hips forward, arms up, lean back, and take deep breaths. We'll take, I'm gonna take five deep breaths. we're going to do a high lunge, which is the same thing, but instead of our knee being on the ground, our knee will be off the ground and our knee will be straight. So this is a little bit more, a little bit more intense for most people. I think it is for me anyway. Okay. So now we're going to tuck our back toes under our foot. Okay. We're going to push this back leg straight, as straight as you can. Push your body up as straight as you can. Now, if you need to put your arms on your leg, that's fine. If you can lift your arms up, that's good too. And we'll take five breaths here. All right, and we'll switch to the other leg now. Five breaths on the other leg. So tuck those toes back. Get this, you know, this knee, this front knee above your front ankle. Push this leg straight. Arms up and five breaths. we'll do the lizard pose, all right? So the lizard pose is sort of like a variation of that low lunge, all right? I'll show you from the side first, all right? We're gonna be um, putting this foot forward, all right? Pushing our hips forward, just like that lunge from before, all right? But now we're gonna take this foot and turn it outwards. And we're gonna try to bring our elbows down to the ground, okay? I can do this a few weeks ago, can't do it right now. So let me show you from the front what this looks like. One foot, or sorry, one knee on the ground, put this other leg forward, okay? Push my hips forward. Now I'm gonna move this foot over to the side, turn it sideways, let's see so you can see it. Turn it sideways, okay? And now from here, I'm just gonna go down to the ground, try to get my elbows down. Now I might be feeling a stretch both on this side of the hip, on the underneath and in the front of this hip. So it's a stretch for two parts of my hips. All right, same thing, we'll do five breaths. Now we'll 
little switch. Now it's important when you're doing these breaths to take deep breaths all the way in and then letting go. All right, so other foot in front, turn your foot over to the side and we'll come down onto our elbows and here we go. Now the next pose we're going to do is called fire log and you can start kind of like in a crisscross applesauce position. Let me back this up a little bit. All right, so you know this position, but it's a little bit different. So what you're going to do is take, let's say we'll start with our right leg. So you're going to take your right leg and you're going to move it out. You're going to move your left foot, uh, your left leg on the ground. You want this leg to be straight in front of you. Not bent back like we would when we're sitting cross-legged, but more or less straight. And now you're gonna take this other leg and put this foot on top of this knee and then put your knee on top of your foot so that both legs, they're not crossed, but one is stacked on top of the other. That's why they call it fire log because you're stacking your legs like uh, logs for making a fire. Um, do your best with this one. This is the best I can do. And now from here, we're going to lean forward and you should feel a pretty big stretch on the outside of your hips now. So we did, we've done, let's see, the inside and back of our hips. We've done the front of our hips. Now we're going to do the outside of our hips. Take a deep breath. Lean forward as far as you can go. Now I can't go very far. And just take deep breaths here. Remember, we don't want it to hurt. Just feel a nice stretch. All right, very good. Now we're gonna switch, all right? Put the other leg on the ground and stack the other leg, the opposite leg on top, so remember, Foot goes on top of knee, and this knee goes on top of the foot. So my legs are stacked and not crossed. Take a deep breath, lean forward, exhale, and five deep breaths here. called reclined pigeon so we've done pigeon before but this is like pigeon but on our back with our legs in the air and I think that it works similar muscles it will stretch similar muscles to the fire log that we just did so let me see if I can demonstrate this so you're gonna lie on your back start lying on your back and we'll start with our our knees bent up in the air like this and what you're gonna do is you're gonna take let's say take your right foot and you're gonna put your right ankle on your knee, okay? So that your knee is bent. So maybe you can see from this direction now, okay, my leg is bent like this. I'm gonna take my hand and reach it through this space in between my legs and around this knee. And now I'm gonna pull my foot towards my chest. As I do this, I'm going to push my elbow against my leg and I should feel a stretch right here. Okay, so let's see from this angle. Okay, so I have this foot, I put it against this knee, reach my arm through, grab around this leg, and I'm gonna pull this foot in towards my chest. All right, take deep breaths here. Right, 
very good. Now we're going to switch. Okay, put the other foot on that knee. Reach your hands through around that other knee. Pull that foot in towards your face. We'll take five breaths here. Good. All right, we are almost done. We just have two more. Now we're going to do side lunge. Okay, this is a good one. If you remember spider, if you remember the spider going back and forth like this, all right, side lunge is basically just staying on one side of that spider and putting your foot up like this. Um, this is going to really stretch the inside of your hips and it might stretch like the back of your hip on the other leg. The key is try to keep this heel on the ground. So I'm going to try to keep this heel on the ground, put my hands in prayer position, I've got my foot up, and I'm going to hold this position like this for five deep breaths. Very good. Now we'll move to the other side. Stretch the other hip, the other leg. All right. And five breaths here. stretch we're going to do is just going to be regular pigeon. I love this stretch. feels so painful but so good at the same time. Okay, and for pigeon, remember, you're going to put one leg in front of you like this, and the other foot is going to go, so from the side, the other foot's going to go straight behind you like this, and you're going to go forward like this. So from the front, it will look like this. Put this leg Try to get it as straight as I can. Now, my leg won't go all the way straight. My leg bends back a little bit, but hopefully you're more flexible than me. All right, put my back foot back, take a deep breath, and lean forward and just relax. We're gonna do this one for 10 breaths. Try to relax your abs, relax your hips, relax your shoulders. With each breath, sink deeper into the stretch. Right, very good. Now we'll switch. We'll switch legs. All right. So other foot, hold it forward in front of you. Put your other leg back. Uh -oh. Take a deep breath. Look up. Exhale. Fold forward. Take a deep breath in. Out, we'll do ten of these. Now 
Remember, relax your abs, relax your chest and shoulders. This is a stretch where your body will tend to fight you. So just try to relax deeper into the stretch with each breath. it for today hope you enjoyed that um this would be a good time now if you want to do splits those that's another great uh hip flexibility exercise i might do some splits right after this um i like to do splits next to the couch so i have something to put my hands on or you can do splits on a chair as well uh, also if you notice we just did some yoga Right? We did some deep stretching and some deep breathing, and I got most of these stretches from a yoga website. So if you want to do the relaxation where you just lie on your back uh, with your palms up and take deep breaths, you can do that uh, as well. Um, that is, that's always a great way to relax, especially after you've done some stretching. So namaste. I uh, hope you have a good day. Stay healthy and stay safe.